everybody. It's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas and I already have my base coat down and that color is Amsterdam grayish blue. And today is experiment day because I'm using the mix. Let me show you the container for the mix. Now normally the mix is uh, the ratio is seven parts mixed to one part paint, which gives you kind of a thick consistency. Well, today I'm going with all thin paints. I've been watching a lot of Sarah Taylor. I will put her name in my description. I've gotten a lot of inspiration from Sarah lately. Yeah, she uses a lot of thin paints. So today what I did is I took a ratio of six parts mix to four parts water and then I did mix my paints accordingly so my base coat is the Amsterdam grayish blue and it's three parts of that mixed water half a part of satin enamel and two parts paint and let me see here the satin enamel I used was the deco art satin enamel the jar looks pretty beat up and can barely see it but it is the deco art satin enamel now the paints that i'm going to lay down over that let's go over those colors i have master's touch phalo blue arteza silver arteza bordeaux red very pretty red color and that's it. Um, I'm going very simple today. Now that ratio was, let's see, two parts of that mixed water with one teaspoon of paint only. And I did not thin any more with any more water. And then we have what's called the cloud mix that goes on top. And I left it, um, that combination is, Let's see, one part paint, one part of the, uh, the mixed water combination, and just a drop of the satin enamel. So the paint I used also is house paint. It's the Color Place house paint that you get um, at Walmart. So here is one of my cloud mix. You can see how thin it is, just like water. And then my second one is a purplish color. I just added a a dab of the uh, Deco Art Metallics Purple Pearl. So what I'm going to do is just lay my paints down, tip them around, possibly put that cloud mix on the top, maybe blow it out with a straw, maybe use my palette knife. We're just going to see how this goes. Like I said, today is all experiment. So let's just lay some paint down here and not only experiment with the thin paints, but also with the thin mix. I'm not sure how it will all turn out, but that is really what is the fun with experimenting here. silver here and we'll see if I get any pearl cells or clouds we'll just have to see how it goes here and I'm just going to dab a little bit of my cloud mix here and there for now I may add more later and blow it up onto the paints Okay, and I'm going to add a little bit more of my base coat just to help that paint flow. Again, this is the Amsterdam grayish blue. I really do like this, this color. Okay, now I'm going to give it a quick torch. And 
And I did forget to mention in my white cloud mix, I did add two drops of golden high fluid acrylic Blanco to that. That usually gives fractals, but we'll just see if it has any kind of effect at all with the paint. So I'm just gonna do a little tipping here. I didn't add a lot of paint on here, so I may have to go back and add a little more. We'll just see how it goes and how far we wanna tip this around on our painting. And I am going to do quite a bit of stretching here. Just stretch these paints right out. And bring them back again. See if I can get some of these paints in the middle to come down a little bit more. And bring it back. Okay, let's bring it back down here to the middle and we'll see what we have. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to give it another torch. See if we get anything coming up here. I'm not using any Floetrol today, so Usually when you use the flow trial, you do get quite a few cells, but by not using that, I'm just not sure what kind of effect we're going to get here. Okay, so this is the cloud mix, this purple here and some of this white. What I'm gonna do is take a straw and I'm going to add a little bit more of the white cloud mix here and there. And I'm, do I'm going to try and blow it up over the paints a little bit or in the paints. We'll just see what we get. This is all, again, this is all experiment today. run some of the paint through. Just really want to have fun with it. Okay, let's see what blowing some of this out does. does move quite easily because it's so thin. I really am liking that.
now I'm going to do a little bit more tipping this way. And I'll bring it back. And I'm going to bring my canvas this way so I can blow these out a little bit. I am liking this in here. Okay, I'm going to do some tipping this way. And I will bring it back. And it looks like a lot of my Bordeaux red did get swallowed up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little palette knife. And I'm going to add some Bordeaux red here and there in this painting because I do like the effects I got where it is showing through. I'm wiping my palette knife off after each time I add. Just try and get enough sitting on the top that I can blow that out a little bit. Try and go along the lines here. Maybe one more here. Okay, 
I'm going to try blowing this out now. Okay, I like that so far. Okay, I think I will add a little bit more in here. See what we can bring up with that. I'm going to do a little bit of tipping here. bring it back okay just see what we have here and I am going to add some more of the Bordeaux red here That's very pretty. And I may add some more of the cloud mix here. See what kind of effect we get on that. And I'm going to turn my canvas around here so I can get to it better.
I'm really liking that. Okay, I am really liking that effect. Here you can see where I'm starting to get some of those cells. Just gonna take a look at it now and see if there's another area I'd like to work on. I think I'm going to add a little bit more of the red in here. And let's just blow that out a little bit. Okay, I'm really liking that too. Let's see what I can do in this area. Just softening that up a little bit. I'm going to give it a torch here. See what we get. I do see a lot of really, really teeny cells popping up here. And they may develop. And this is what I really like is that that effect I'm getting there. Very, very pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take a little bit of the blue. a little bit of that the white cloud mixture put it beside it here okay turn my canvas again I'm going to do a little bit more blowing out see if we can get something like this Bordeaux red over here with the blue over here. That effect is really beautiful.
I am I really do like that Could actually just keep 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 working on this, but I think I will. I will give it another torch, and then we'll get you down for a close up because I'm very very happy with it. Again, this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Just did a dirty pour on it, tipped it, blew it around, and now I'll get you down for a close up, and you can tell me what you think. Okay, everybody here we are for our close-up off camera I did do a little bit more blowing I added a little bit more blue a little bit more of that Bordeaux red and the white and blew it out a little bit but this is the upper left hand corner just going down the left hand side here I am very happy with how this painting turned out you can see the wispies in the cloud effect here very happy. I will have to check out to see how it dries because this is an experiment with the mix and paints being so thin. And this is the lower left hand corner and we'll take you up the middle now. I really do like it in here how the Bordeaux red played with my base coat there that grayish blue. You can see I did get quite a few little cells popping up there. Pretty in here too. I really do like that. And we'll take you to the upper right corner. And just go down the right hand side. And this is, this is that effect that I really liked right in here. And then just the lower right hand corner. Did get some negative space here. Okay, so let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Uh, ring the bell, choose all so you know the next time I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't, that would be wonderful. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.